What's going on, guys? And welcome back to my No Money Spent MLB Diamond Dynasty. Today, we're looking at another way of getting that Team Infinity up quite quickly. Now, if you want to get to 100% and you want to do it quite fast, this is a little tip for you that might help you along the way. So let's get straight into it and show you just what I'm doing right now. So as you can see right now, the AL Central is at 67%. Now, I'm taking my time with this. I like to take my time with content. I'm showing you the fast ways to do it, but I like to drip and drive into everything. If they release a Conquest map, I'm going to do it no matter what, because I just like to do that. If they release a new PR program, I'm going to do that. If they release the new Ranked Seasons, I'm going to do that as well. I like to do everything and not just like... Oh, it's offline, so we're going to ignore that. It's online, I only do that, or vice versa. I like to do everything so I get to see the full range of what content that MLB are bringing out for us so we can kind of have a bit of fun with them. So as you can see here, we have the AL, and we are at 135,000 XP. Now, I've already got one of my bosses from this because we got to the 60,000, mm -hmm. and what we did there is we chose a pitcher. And I chose Mr. Justin Verlander. Now that he is coming as a pitcher, we're going to utilize what he can do. And we're going to run through the conquest with just using Verlander as our pitcher as the stamina doesn't decrease. So we could just keep using Verlander consistently. So if I go over to the conquest and we go over to the TA Season 1 C2, which is a repeatable one, we're nearly done. We've done every single one there, and we've just got the Blue Jays to do. So we're going to finish the Blue Jays off right now. We're going to get Verlander in there, and I'm going to show you after the results. So we're going to play All-Star. I play all my games on All-Star. It just helps out when I want to go online and learn the online route there. So we're going to play on All-Star. Verlander comes in. He already has been paralleled, and we're going to get straight into it. I'm just using different players at the minute as well with this team affinity kind of grind that we are on just That's to try and use one. different players out there i don't really need any certain players in the team i'm just using players that i like like andrew mccutcheon is one of my favorite players in real life so i'm using him i'm using his card he's not the best is it no but it's fun to use because i like him out in the center field and that card art is absolutely stunning as well so that's why i use it it's like the same with trey turner he's got 99 speed but i've been hitting well with him so we are going to try and hit well. Ignore these at bats because they're not very good. But we're playing the AI, so yeah. So Mike Napoli has come into this team. I'm liking Mike Napoli so far. I can do that with him, and it's very fun. Let's go! What a card this Mike Napoli card is. Highly recommend it as you catch it. He is just hits bombs. Baron Buxton, this card is still absolutely. Hey! out of its mind it oh, still no, just does so much damage to people it's it's unbelievable it's one of my outfield like favorite outfield cards oh, and i highly recommend you oh, uh, picking up this uh, corner stop i think it is a corner stop with the uh, captain bonus it's Two brilliant one. well let's see if we can get on base again with it oh that's hey. a good pitch that got me that got me looking Two now one. i've changed the Two way three. i do my pci so high pitches are gonna throw me out but low ones we get all of it and that is going to be a little double for Byron Buxton. This also helps with Team Affinity as well because he's going to get points for his team and a chance to move it up a little bit there. And the ones with like the designated teams, they are repeatable as well. So that's why the Verlander one is doing pretty well for us. That gets down. We're going to go home with Byron Buxton as well. And he had things. He's got that absolute rapid speed of 98. Now, we did get a Ryan McMahon as well. We got this out of the BR program. And this got... It's another one of my good hitters. I just don't know why, but I like to hit. I think he's got such a nice swing with the cord. Not when you go down there, though. That's a bad swing from me on that one. But I do like Ryan McMahon's swing. Now, Verlander, what you want to do is you want to try and get as many strikeouts as physically possible. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure strikeouts give you the most XP. Oh, so you want to do this because it just repeats it consistently and it gets you the points in there Volume for two. the Verlander boss challenge and also you get them for Aye. the Detroit Lions as well so you're doing two birds with one stone slide on the outside yeah I don't come looking counts one and oh right fastball good old faithful Aye. that's on the money gonna use a cutter now on the straight. inside one of my favorite pitches cut on the inside is absolutely nasty Aye. just like that I love using that online as well and then we're going to throw a slide a little bit lower so it drops and we're game swinging. And that's going to be easy for Mike Napoli to just chuck him out. He's and out. that is two strikeouts already for Verlander. That'll change up. And that's got him swinging. Oh, and one. Top right. Aye. Love it. And then let's go a no slide on the outside because that's one of my favorite pitches. Let's try and get him out. Three. There we go. Three strikeouts. Easy as that. 
Lovely jubbly. Now we just bat again and just get some XP for some uh, teams. We're gonna go low again when we PCI. I was a little early there, wanna. I was very I was eager. Eager anticipating, waiting for it. We were all over that one then. I don't know why I saw that. I that. No ball, two strike. Right, so we're still 0 and 2 right now. So let's see if we can get a hit here. Okay, that's down. That's run past, and that's going to be a hit for Richie Sexton. Not the nicest of hits, but when you get stuff like that, we take it. Brucey bonus. Done on Westberg. Ah, I've got to be careful them out. Because my PCI is now low, the high ones are really, like, throwing me off. So I've got to kind of leave them high ones and just let it be a ball. And that's going to be a double play. Ow. Ow. Now, Freddie Freeman, we did pack Freddie Freeman. If you've not seen the packs, we do do put the... Uh, that's going to be a little, got it? Is he going to get there? Safe, Freddy's in. in. Freddy is in. Freddy is in. Yeah, we do stream live over Twitch. We got twitch.tv for slash take 147. If you do want to see some other content from me in the MLB, so like hey. we'll do our packs. If we do like the oh, no, BR program, we build up the packs that we do at the end of the day. So for example, today all the conquests in this one, we're going to do the packs after. So whatever I've been working on, I will do the packs there. So if you're on Twitch and we need something to do with packs on Twitch, I'll open it on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, we'll do them on YouTube. Simple as that. So if you don't miss anything or want to know where we are with my team collections and all that law, feel free Outside to give us a follow on the Twitch. Ticker 147. I'll leave the link in the description below, guys, if you do want to head over there and hit the follow button on it in the world to me. As we're striking out Vladimir Guerrero Jr. here, we're Two going to straight. do a little change up. Frame off speed, and there we get him going. Lovely jubbly, four strikeouts. He's out. Another one will be great. Hey. Thank you. If you, get, like, if you get six strikeouts, you're doing really well there because he does start to tire. If you if you do try and push him into the third inning, he's going to run out of stamina. So be careful with that. Hey. There is five strikeouts. Ah. And a good start to strikeout number six. Come on, then. Ball. Good leave. There you can see he is getting a little bit tired now. He's going to be dropping into Ball. that red one. And uh, we, got two balls, we don't want them strike. leaving pitches. As Justin Turnit does hit it, but that is going to be a foul ball to give us two strikes. And hopefully we can get him on this slider now. Nope. Got to keep reducing the pitch count. We don't want him getting too crazy. Three. Got him. There's six. Six strikeouts. Huge for us. I am going to warm up another pitch, though, just in case. You never know. And we will go... For Emmanuel Clace. But we're going to get through this at bat, see if we can score any more runs. I need to stop swinging at high pitches. Need to stop swinging at high pitches. What am I doing? All right, down low. Ah, broken bat. It's going to be caught. Vladimir Grau Jr., easy money for him. Right, big bomb, Mike Napoli. Let's see if he can uh, get us another home run. That'll be great. That's a wild pitch. Right then, three and one. Oh, is he going to throw another ball at me? He didn't. He went for a high fastball. Okay. He knows they're my weak spots. It's fair. Broken bat, but we fouled it. That bat has gone. That's nearly at the second, second base person. That's incredible. That's gone miles. Oh, my. Oh, my. That ball was absolutely clubbered. Come on now. There we go, Mike. It's another great hit from me. Honestly, you, I could just hit with this card consistently. You might get thrown out here, you know. Got him! He's just not fast, okay? Good hitter. But he's not very fast. We learn. We learn. It's a learning game, this. A learning game. Right, Brian Buxton. Aye. I've swung the weight down on that. I was right down there. That was just going to hurt one. Ah, should have been a home run. Ah, well. Oh, well, that one's a tie. Just, uh, just underneath it. Sent it up a little bit. That's fine. Right, so now we've got a pitch now. we still got a little tiny bit of energy with Verlander in here. So I'm going to try and get the most out of him because we are playing an all-star. For count. some reason, I feel like the, uh, the opposition don't know how to deal with it. So I'm going to try and get at least one or two more strikeouts with him. If he keeps fouling off like this, I will bring him out. But we'll try and push one more. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Now he's completely out of energy. Press one button. We're going to go Emmanuel Clace. And he's going to finish, finish this off, hopefully, 
with two strikeouts. Oh, that'll do. One out. Thank you very much. Do appreciate that. And then we have Kirk. Okay, I didn't want it there, but we'll take it. Oh, and one. Lovely. And then a fastball up high. Ooh, cheeky cheeky. Cutter outside. Got him. There we go. We win that. That gets us the conquest done completed. And hopefully that should give us a little bit more XP as well. With Verlander being the player of the game. And he uh, got six strikeouts for us. So. Oh, seven, sorry. He got seven strikeouts, sorry. So we get another ticket as well. So goal complete five, which is capture all 15 strongholds. And we get a new token to put into any program of your choosing we do get a hidden reward as well with the headliners you can restart it and do this over as, as much as you want to now that will go over there and we'll continue infinity now we're on 77 we just played one game i can't remember what we we're on previously that's how good of a content creator and youtuber i am well done tick but we're on 70 and we're on 60 summit so we've got 10 percent done there which is 20 xp because it's 200 xp so i'm pretty sure we just don't 10%, 20 XP just by doing one game and striking out seven batters with Verlander. And also, you have got other ones out there as well. So, other ones have gone up as well. I think there was a 19% as well on the AL West and 19% on the NL Central. So, there is a ways of getting that. And you could just... That was just one game. You do the whole map and you will absolutely fly through this. We do have vouchers as well. How many did we get? We got four vouchers. If we want to put four vouchers in, that will give us another 8.4 8 thousand and then also 2,000. So it gives us 11,200. So previously in the, another video, I showed you how to do the showdown. You could literally do the showdown, get to the first boss, and then literally just do the whole of the conquest. And then you have the, uh, the vouchers to trade into whoever you want to trade into as well. So the possibilities are definitely there. And the missions that you are doing is, as you can see there, the chapter one and two, a... ALC bosses, it gives you 6,000. It's repeatable. So in there is going to be a Brayu Clace, uh, a couple of others as well. I, I, I was going to go through the list there, but that'll take I'll take all day. So you can do them. You can put all them into your team as well. And I was also gaining XP for the Tigers, which we completed there, which gives us the 10,000 XP coming into it. So you could really stack this team full of White Sox, Guardians, Tigers, Royals, Twins, and just rinse through it and just keep earning it in and in so the possibilities of the xp on conquest is a lot higher it really is and also you're doing these tasks as well so we could literally go out and get another 2ks with vlan and we get 10k xp that it, it's repeatable as well so you could just keep keep getting 30 strikeouts and you'll be perfectly fine it is absolutely so fast to try and get these done I'm not even kidding. So that's how I would recommend doing it. Just go through Conquest. If this is kind of like if you were a player that doesn't like going online or anything like that. Rinse and repeat the Conquest. Get your first boss and then push on and try and just pitch with that boss consistently. Bang, 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 bang. And then get your XP up and you'll soon fly through it and you'll soon have whatever player you are looking for in your team affinity. Now, we do have a few packs, I think, here to go through as well. So there is nothing like ending a little video on some packs. So let's get the headliners pack done. That's perfect. And we'll go through these nine packs, see if we can get anything, see if we can pull anything. I don't think we will because we don't like to really pull anything decent. If a diamond comes out there, guys, I'll be very happy. Not going to lie. But it looks like we're just going to get people like Garrett Mitchell and... Uh, yeah, I don't really need Garrett Mitchell. I've already got him. We're pretty much done on the... Hello. Oh, okay. Is he still going for the 700? I just realized who that was. Let's see if he can still get it. That's a uh, cheeky one there. I'll take that. We have got collections pretty much done. We are just waiting for them big diamonds. And all I'm doing is waiting for the prices to drop down. I have seen a couple of them drop down in price. I have seen the likes of Trout go to 170. I I think Otani has dropped as well to like 130. So they're slowly coming down, which we like to see and which we want to see. But hopefully we get a little bit cheaper that we can complete it. And I'll have a nice little video of me trying out the wonderful, wonderful Babe Ruth. Well, it's a heavy pack. It's going to be a gold, unfortunately. And he goes for 1,720. I will take that. Headliner pack. Oh, I thought it was going to be something big then. 
One, two, two, two. Millionaire's back. Imagine, imagine the shirt is coming off. The shirt is coming off. If we get the millionaire's back, oh, it's a try again. Have some stubs. You only gave me 100 stubs. But guys, that is the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that gives you some little in insight of how I would do the TAs. Like I say, I'm slow grinding this. I don't want rush because I, I don't want to cry that there's no content coming out when we've, we've got stuff like this. So I'm just taking my time, just enjoying it and seeing what's out there and just doing everything bit by bit as well. So I hope you guys are as well. But if you are a more of an offline player, Get your boss, get your conquest, and go pitching for fun because there's no stamina degrees. So you can just go forever and get that all done. Well, guys, thank you very much for checking out the video. Please hit the subscribe. We are up to 50 now, so I appreciate that. And you are absolute legends for smashing that out for me. So it means the world to me. So a nice little subscribe, be grateful, and a like. And I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye bye.